What's up, everybody? This is Dark Masic with Brutally Delicious, coming at you with a review of Accept's brand new album, Humanoid. So if you don't know who Accept are by now, I don't know how you're listening to this channel, because they are one of the forefathers of modern heavy metal. They're probably not as important as Black Sabbath, but they're right up there with Maiden and Priest in terms of defining what most of us would call 80s classic metal. You know, the whole halcyon days that your uncle wants back when heavy metal was good and guitar solos rang loud, except was a big part of that. Honestly, tell me Fast as a Shark isn't the first thrash song ever written. Anyways, enough about what the band was. What's really cool is that the band made a huge comeback after being broken up, hiatus, whatever, back in 2010 with an album called Blood of the Nations, and that was probably the strongest comeback I've ever seen, maybe tied with Tempo of the Dam by Exodus. They feature Mark Tornillo as the vocalist in lieu of classic singer Udo Dirkschneider, and somehow the band sounds remarkably fresh. Even in the second half of their career, which is now 14 years strong, you know, normally you'd think the comeback album is a backwards looking thing. They're still churning out quality shit. Wolf Hoffman can still shred. Mark Tornillo can still sing like a motherfucker. The band is still firing. Those drums still hit you right in the gut. Stylistically, the band has definitely found a groove. I do think this one reminded me more of Blood of the Nations than the past few did, which is, by the way, a great thing. And it's just a refreshing output of good old classic metal that was lacking for so long. Let's get into some tracks. Album opener, Diving Into Sin. So again, band is definitely firing on all cylinders right away. There's a cool Middle Eastern intro that actually continues into the main riff. It's a bit of a different style, but I was actually reminded of Dying Season by Heathen. They're way more thrashy, and that's a faster song, but give it a listen and let me know what you think. So it's definitely a different style than the Udo years, but the band is still intact, and like I'm saying, they found their groove, they're churning out great metal. And for what it's worth, if they wrote Metal Heart Part 2, I think we'd all just call it derivative anyway. Man Up. Okay, this song was actually pretty funny in a way. Not like a Weird Al song is funny. My first thoughts on hearing this are, wow, only a German band would release this. Last year, Primal Fear released a song called Cancel Culture. They're also German, of course. And even though the messages are not identical, they're both coming from the same point of view. I was reminded a little bit of New World Coming from Blood of the Nations. Pretty ironic, I think, is that this is probably one of the less testosterone-infused tracks on the album. It's a little slower. The Reckoning. Here's another great heavy track. I'm very much reminded of Pandemic from Blood of the Nation, which was, I think, the best song from that album. Great solos, good riffs, and a good chorus. It's except keeping the torch of classic heavy metal going. Nobody Gets Out Alive. Wow, this is a major key track that isn't I'm a Rebel or Bound to Fail. It's really cool hearing Accept's energy in a happier medium like this. It fits. Okay, fine, the chorus is not major, but the verse is. Mind Games. Honestly, tell me that this main riff doesn't remind you of Power Slave. I'm thinking, was Accept influenced by a band that they probably influenced? That's a fun way for things to come full circle, right? Last but not least, South Side of Hell. This is a great closer. It's a burner with a lot of urgency to it. It's got a great solo slash melody section. And when I say melody, I mean the guitar break that's not just shredding, but is something you can sing along to. Think like the end of the pandemic solo meets like Princess of the Dawn. It's fucking cool. So it's totally refreshing to see one of the old guards releasing an album with this much fire in it. There was a notably big heavy metal band that released an album last year that I was not a fan of. So I'm thinking it's been since Megadeth in 2022, since we've had something like from the classic era that still had balls. With Kerry King's new band coming out, there will be some stiff competition, but I'm very confident that Accept can win this one. Great job, dudes. Come back to America, please. Rock on.
Hey, what's up? My name's Lurk, and I'm the host of Lamb Goat's Van Flip Podcast. Every week, I have in-depth conversations with bands from all over the scene, big and small. We also like to keep our finger on the pulse and showcase up-and-coming bands on the show as well. So come check out Lamb Goat's Van Flip Podcast.